Hello and welcome back to Farm Sip for Newbies. My name's Andy and we just got our field all plowed. Let me go ahead and connect my uh, controller here again. Alright, we'll turn off all those features. And we got our, uh, talked about how using the bottom plow and then using the cultivator to clean it all up to make a nice seed bed. So our canola seed will fit in there. We'll go ahead and put this away in the, in the old barn here. Turn our camera around so we can see where the heck we're going. Learning to drive backwards is uh, kind of not very easy to do. Got to remember, if you want to turn right, you got to go left. If you want to left, you got to go right. There we go. We're gonna hit Q or A on the controller, and we'll get rid of that baby. All right. So now remember, in the last video, we went up to the store and we uh, leased out a uh, a. Uh... Oh, wow! Oh, Mr. Deer, get out of there! We leased out a fertilizer spreader because we need some fertilizer on this. It's going to be a pretty quick thing to do. Fertilizer spreader will spread about 45 feet, so it's only going to be a couple of passes. But we didn't have $25,000 to buy it. That would take over 25% of our money or better. And so we got to go up there, get it, lease it, come back. It'll be about $1,200. But it's the difference between getting half a crop and a full crop. There's certain things we have to do as a farm or as a farmer to be able to have the maximum crops that we can possibly have. Now doing things like plowing it correctly and putting the right seed bed down and uh, fertilizing it and other things will give us a maximum amount of yield on our crop and I'll show you that as we go along here so it's gonna take these couple of minutes to run up there we got to go pick it up it's the only vehicle we have it's not very fast once again we can uh, practice our driving as we go see we can go left go right stop you know control that joystick a little bit Let's see if we can run it right along the edge here and make it go as straight as we possibly can. Okay, so that's that's pretty straight there. So I'm going to move my camera angle a little bit here. And I'm not touching anything but the accelerator. I'm going as fast as it'll go, which is 25 miles an hour. And see, I can go a long ways. Now, it may not be straight as the road is straight, but I don't have to change anything. Don't oversteer. Like I told you before, that's one of the biggest things is don't oversteer. We, we, we don't want to oversteer this thing and, and create a whole lot more than we need to. Now, once we get the fertilizer spreader, one of the things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to buy some fertilizer. And I'm going to go ahead and buy a full thing of fertilizer just for the simple fact is it's going to be a lot cheaper uh, to buy a full thing of fertilizer. Uh, we can either buy it in pallets or we can buy it in bags or we can uh, buy it in bulk um, from the actual thing here. Now, if you see right here, this is the... Uh, Spencer here, we buy different things, grains, fertilizers, and everything else. We can buy it right here, or we can buy it inside in a bag or a bulk. Now, I am going to go ahead, and I think I'm just going to go ahead. It's about $1,200 a bag, about $1,000 a pallet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back in right here to this fertilizer spreader. And as soon as it tells us we're close enough, we're going to hit the Q or the A on the controller. There we go. Boom. Now, you see right there, it tells us that the, the fertilizer is set up for partial width right now at 42 meters. Uh, 42 meters times 3 again, that's 120 feet. That's that's just crazy. So I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to buy a big one in bulk. It's not going to be a lot of money because what can happen is we can unload this and we can keep what we don't use for later. Okay, so there it is. I've got right underneath it. I'm going to hit R for purchase. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's not doing that. What I can open cover in. So I'm going to hit in. Oh, there the cover is open. Now it gives me the R so I can fill it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it. Hit R again and stop it. 78%. It's a little bit more than I wanted, but uh, it's 2,500 liters, which is plenty. And I'm going to hit in again to go ahead and close the cover. And notice there up there, it's, that was 10000 bucks. Wow. That, that was a lot more than I wanted to spend on fertilizer right now. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. I just didn't want to spend it right now. So let me go ahead and go down the road here real quickly. It's going to take us about two passes is all it's going to take because that thing's 125 foot wide. But there's no other way to really sp uh, spread fertilizer. We just don't have the money to buy the machine. So leasing it's the best we can do. Using the uh, other part is the best we can do. And then once we get done with that, we're going to go on and do our seeding. Okay. So give me one second here. This is the final. Now, like I said, we could have done seeding first and then done fertilizer. But uh, I always think fertilizer is better. Uh, think about it practically. I don't want to drive over the top of the seed while I'm doing fertilizing. Um, we are going to have to do one step after that, which is called rolling. And that's kind of controversial, and I'll tell you why when we get done in a few minutes. Uh, some people believe it's not worth it. 
Some people have done some studies and find out that rolling, uh, which actually takes the seed and pushes it down in and, and re-rolls and compacts the dirt so that the wind doesn't blow seed away and stuff like that, um, you don't get much of a bonus. You only get like a 5% uh, better yield bonus by rolling. So some farmers just don't find it worth their time because it is kind of time consuming. Okay, but for this first field, we're going to do it. So uh, go ahead and run it. We're getting there really quickly. When we get to the edge of the field, we're going to turn around and we're going to uh, look at what it takes to start the machine. So we're getting up here to the stop of the edge. There we go. And uh, there we go. Now, I'll tell you right now, that thing's, like I said, it's, it's about 100 and some foot wide. Now, we could make it more narrow, but why, why do more work than we have to? So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to put it right down here. It's going to take two passes is all it's going to take. So I'm going to put it about right there. And I'm going to get right up to the edge here, and I'm going to hit the B key. I will tell you that the B key always starts and stops the operation of a machine. V always lifts it up or puts it down. doesn't matter whether it's a mower or a fertilizer spreader or a plow. So B is starting it. As soon as I hit the B, we're going to hit the trigger and go forward. Here we go. Now, see that? The whole thing, all in one fell swoop. Now, as you notice there, I'm just going to drive completely straight there. I can see it's going past the right side there and past the left side. And, and it's throwing that fertilizer out there just like you please. And you notice it's changing the, the color of the ground at the same time, so it'll let us know where we fertilized and where we have not. So coming up here pretty soon, I'm going to get up to the top edge here. I'm going to hit the B key again and stop. Okay. Now let's turn around and see what we did, how much we did. You'll notice see, we didn't get that right side over there really well, but we got the left side really good. And see? See how it makes a little difference there? Oh, see how that right-hand side there? See how that made it nice? And it fertilized that really, really well. Now if we jump out of the tractor really quickly, see fertilization 88%. Now that's about as good as we can get right now. Okay, so we're going to jump back and we're going to walk around just a second. There's 80%, there's 70%, 52%, 51%. So you see, we still may need to have to do a little fertilizing a little later on. Uh, because we basically destroyed everything in the dirt. We didn't do anything any better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and back that up here real quickly. And we're going to pull it over a few feet here. And we're going to make one little quick pass to get that far right there. And then we'll call it good. Okay. Now we have this thing for the whole day. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the B again. There it starts. We're going to put up as fast as we can go. We don't want to waste any fertilizer. We don't have to. But fertilizer is cheap. So you notice we, we are at 75%. We've only used 3%. We're just going to continue on down the thing here a little ways. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. And we're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Here we go. A little more. And we're done. Okay. We hit the B and we're closed out. Now normally what we're going to do at this point is we're just going to go ahead and take we're going to unload the fertilizer we haven't used because we bought it. We spent all that money for it. We can use it later. And we're going to go ahead and return this fertilizer spreader for right now. If I thought I could get it all done in one day, I would do it. I'm going to go ahead and go right over here. And if you notice, we're going to hit the keyboard. We're going to hit the space bar. And it says to unload. Hit the letter I. So I hit I and throws it out in three pallets there. Boom. All nice and empty. We're not wasting any money. Those are in pallets that are weatherproof. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this back into town. Okay. So give us one second here. Now, now we have that, we're going to come back and we're going to get our cedar and we're going to hook it up and we're going to go ahead and lay down some seed. Okay. This is going to be a little longer video than normal. We're already about eight minutes in and we've only got the fertilizer on. I was hoping to do it a little faster than this. Um, but the uh, I needed to go ahead and return this. And there's not really a faster way to do it at this point. So really quickly it's one of the problem with lease returns is you gotta bring it back in now a lot of times we would take and we would fix the the uh we'd fix that tool make it brand new before we returned it the problem is it's worn very little if we look over on the right hand side there where it has our meter halfway uh, that's our tractor now remember we repaired that at the first day but we've already done quite a bit with it we've done a bunch of plowing we've done some moving and it's down to, to half so we're going to want to wait until it gets down there. Oh, probably about three quarters, and we're going to repair our tractor again. Now, yes, we got to keep repairing the tractor, but it's because we can't afford a new one. New ones don't wear out as fast, and the more the tractor gets, the older it gets, the more often it needs repairs. 
So some people say, hey, once the tractor gets two or three years old, it, it's not worth repairing all the time. It's cheaper to buy a new one. Well, I'll let you figure that out for yourself. We're newbies. We're just going to repair it when it needs repairing. And what happens if you don't repair it? Well, the machine will still work, but the problem is it won't work very well. It will make mistakes, and your yield in your crops will not be as good as they could be. Okay? They just won't. So, okay, so we go up in here. We're going to pull in. We're going to hit the other door right here. Because this is where we return stuff. We're going to hit our mouse. Open that door up. Uh, open door. Let's see. Uh, we got to get out first. There we go. Open door. All right. We're going to hop back in. And normally we go in here and we clean this up and return it. But like I said, it's very little. There we go. We're going to hop out again. And we're going to run around over here to the return items. Or if we sell items, we go here. We're going to hit the R. Okay. And it shows our condition of our tractor. Like I said, it says it needs about 20... Oh, it needs about 2800 bucks. It needs as much to repair as the value. We're not going to worry about that right now. We didn't really do any damage to the thing. We're just going to set return. And we're done. Okay. We're going to escape back out. We're going to go over and get back in our tractor. And we're going to get back in there. And we're going to get some, some uh, other stuff done. All right. We hop back in our tractor by hitting the X key. Back up. Get out of here. Okay. Once again, 25 miles an hour. Turn the here. Straighten out our camera. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the uh, the cedar on. And I'm gonna start out just like I told you before. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cedar on, and then I'm gonna hire one of my associates or my AI worker to lay down the seed. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of passes with you, and then we're gonna let him go ahead and do the rest. He's my helper. And that's his job. It's not. It, it doesn't go very fast, uh, and we just need to do make sure we got enough seed, and we're going to let and let him run it, and and seed that area for us. And then once the seeding's done, we'll look at the next step. Uh, we'll be able to look at the ground, and it'll tell us several things about that uh, plot of land and what's on there, and we can go from there. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you do, please like and subscribe. Um, if you're one to say, hey, I don't care about this step by step stuff. Um, that's okay. You go to our other series on how to, where we just take a place, this same map, we take all the trees off of it, we take all the rocks out of it, and we just show you how to use the equipment. How we make big fields, how we do big equipment, how we plant, how we harvest, and it's just kind of a more of a, this is the fastest way to learn how to farm and to get going. We, we teach you how to uh, go a little bit faster in uh, growing your farm uh, and making it a great place to uh, call your home. Okay, there's lots of other things to do in here. We just does just, just one part of many, many different things. And you know, and I was thinking here the other day also on this that this game has so many things it can expand to. For instance, uh, one of the crops that it, you can't grow on this right now is carrots. You can't grow peas. Uh, those are both things that are that are uh, grown quite a bit with the same equipment. Uh, they just haven't developed that part of the game yet, and I'm not sure why. Okay, let's back up in here to our cedar. Oh, got to turn a little harder here, so let me see over here. There we go. We're going to hit our Q button or A on the controller. We're going to pull out farther there. Look at the very bottom down there. It says it's set for wheat. Wheat is the wrong time of year, so we're going to hit the Y key. If you look over in the left-hand menu about halfway through, it says Y. Is, we're set for barley. Nope. We're set for oats. Nope. Canola. There we go. That's what we want, we want canola. So we're gonna go out here and we're gonna go right along the edge here. And don't worry if you don't get perfectly on the edge. Nothing has to be perfect and, and square in there. I got a little OCD, but I can live with it if you can. And what we're gonna do now is we have to use the X key to unfold it. Now this particular machine, some machines that unfolds a lot of stuff. This machine, it just moves a couple of little arms. So we're gonna hit X to unfold it. Okay, I guess it did it. And now, same thing. To start seeding, we're going to hit the B key. First, you need to unfold the tool or the seeder. So, okay, so we're going to hit the B key again to stop it. We're going to lift it up again. 
Now, if you look on the controls on the very, very, very top up there, uh, right up where it says turn on Cedar Key B, you'll see a little picture of the tractor and the implement. And right now it says the implement is highlighted. We need the tractor highlighted because the tractor controls that implement. And so we hit the G key, okay, and it should switch it. And what am I doing wrong here? Huh. It's not what I'm doing. I'll be a doggo. hand side there fold cedar now it says fold cedars which means it's unfolded now we can go ahead and put the V to put it down we can hit B to start it up there we go now we got it and now what we do is we just put the forward button don't worry about steering for this first part of it here okay just go straight don't worry about getting on that edge right there now notice our lines change just a little bit different it's kind of hard to see here but it does change just a little bit different. And notice our tractor's having just a little bit of trouble. That's because Cedar takes quite a bit of horsepower. It's around 90 horsepower to 100 horsepower. Our tractor's only got 120, so this is one of the toughest things it can do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the H key, and I'm gonna have my, my uh, employee go ahead and take over for me, my artificial intelligence. And he's gonna go ahead and go through there, and he's gonna go ahead and lay down seed on this whole field, okay? And the reason why I'm having him do it is he's going to do it straighter and better than I can do it. Now, one of the things when you hire somebody like this, the cool thing is, is a part of the fee that they charge for laying down a job is you don't lose any of your seed or your fertilizer or whatever you're doing. It's part of the job. It's what you pay for them to do. So let's watch it get to the end here. and We'll watch him get turned around. Okay, he's going to lift the cedar up. He turned it off. He's going to turn back around. Now you can see a little bit better there. See how you can tell the difference between planted and not planted? Now imagine that. you got to go about 12, 15 times across there. That cedar's about 4 meters wide. Uh, three and a half, four meters wide. Okay, which would be 12 to 16 feet. And there's the next one. There you go. All right, well, come back on the next video. And we'll get all the seeding done. We'll go to the next step. This is Andy with Farm Sim for Newbies. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video. That really helps us out. Have a great day.